Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today in our antique talk, we're going to be discussing the top five items to not throw away. Now there's some great things about being an antique store owner, but there's also some unpleasant things. One of those unpleasant things is doing some good old dumpster diving. Now, most people think, wow, that's disgusting. Why would you do that? But it's because so many people don't understand what they have and they don't think it's worth anything, but really it is. There's some value out there. You know, I'm not saying we pull everything out of the dump, but my God, there's a few things we pulled out of there that we made some really good money on. Uh, we actually had a gentleman that came in about a week ago and he wanted to, uh, he had four generations of items in his house from his great grandmother all the way down to his. And uh, he didn't know what to do with it. And luckily he gave us a call, didn't throw anything away. We got to go through the house, give him a lot of information, let him know what he should hold on to and what's okay to pitch. So that's what kind of inspired this video today. So let's get started today with number five. Now number five is going to be postcards and black and white photos. Now postcards, we've talked about before, the holiday ones, the Halloween, the Christmas, the 4th of July, the Easter, the Thanksgiving, all those ones, really collectible. People always are looking for them because they make really good display pieces and then they're just really cool. <laughs> and so, but there's also other ones like tourist destinations like the Grand Canyon or cities like Las Vegas or even like the local ones where it highlights a church in town that's not there anymore or buildings or stores that used to be there that are not. I mean, there is a lot of local history as well that can be preserved in your town and in your area. And it's just something that we don't want to see in the trash because there is people out there that treasure those kind of pieces, the, the tours attractions or the local history. I mean, they're really cool pieces that you definitely want to hold on to or at least have somebody to look at before you, you pitch. Please don't pitch. <laughs> so, um, and on the black and white photos. Now, black and white photos, people always are like, oh, well, they're not my family. I don't care, whatever. No, there are so many cool ones out there. I mean, from Black Americana, when black people didn't used to get photographed very much. And so they come out and when you get one with them in a photograph, it's actually pretty rare. So, but there's also military ones where people take pictures of their sons or uh, that were going to war. Or you look at, um, there's some morbid ones as well. There's also uh, children that were that died at a young age. Their last picture would be of them after death posed for a remembrance pretty much for the parents i mean it's morbid yes but there's also some beauty to it because it's not like it is today where there is a thousand pictures on your cell phone you can take of every second of every day that's just not how it was so to see something like that and see how they did remember people back in the day it's just it's a beautiful thing that we want to make sure people understand that there is a market for it and they can be treasured and, they, and somebody is out there that will treasure what you might think is trash so please don't throw away the postcards don't throw away the black and white photos all right, on to number four today. Now, number four is going to be old books and old magazines. Now, I see them in the dump all the time because, I mean, people think they're just, no one cares about it. They're not worth anything. Not true. Old books, especially ones from the late 1800s, early 1900s that are first editions, or even ones that aren't, that are just popular books. Huckleberry Finn, Treasure Island, etc. I could go on. They are, they're highly collectible. Condition means a lot, obviously, but even in not great condition, there's people that do work on antique books and they're better than going to the trash. There's always somebody out there that will treasure the book or even going to a library even too would actually be another great idea to go to. So old books don't throw away. Like I said, there's people out there that will take them. Um, now old magazines. Now I see old magazines in there a lot more than anything, but let's, let's think about it for a second. Now those old life magazines they used to highlight World War II, Vietnam, or just important moments that happened you know, in the 30s, 40s, and 50s. Now you're gonna get articles that are in the moment in that time, and it's just something you don't get looking back on it nowadays, because you're gonna get, you're getting the exact feeling of how people felt in the moment, how the time and the pictures were just unbelievable. I mean, and you can even go back to like sports, Sports Illustrated, where they used to highlight Muhammad Ali, or the Lakers, or the Yankees. I mean, that was, um, they get those feelings of in that moment were just so much different than looking back on it now because you're getting people's thoughts and feelings and pictures that time. So, you know, it's still up in the air and what's going on, what's going to be a franchise or what's going to happen in the war. I mean, it's just, it's so real. And that's what, you know, you need the treasure. And there's also, too, there's article, or I'm sorry, there's um, advertisements in there for like old cars, old tractors, there's cigarette ads. People I see cut them out and then they still frame them and they sell them in the shop all the time. I mean, there are definitely something you want to hold on to, you want to go through, you don't want to get rid of. I know you don't want to hold on to the piles of magazines, but trust me, there's people out there that will buy them and take care of them and treasure them like they should be. So make sure we do not throw any of those away. All right, on to number three today. Now, number three is something I talk about all the time. That is furniture. Now, furniture is 
like I told you, it's a tough market, but it's also a market that it goes up and down. Right now, it's at a little bit of a down, but that's the best time to come across this stuff. I mean, we have stuff in our garage that's been sitting for a little bit, waiting to get some work on because we just have so much stuff going on anyway. But there is so many nice pieces of furniture out there that people are tossing for this Walmart crap. Now, the Walmart crap can stay in the dump because that stuff is just not good quality. It's not worthwhile. But the used furniture is something you definitely want to hold on to. At worst, find an antique store. They will take it. Trust me. Now, with old furniture that in the dump or just thrown away, like I said, it needs to be it needs to be saved. I'm not going to ramble on about this because I could all day, but I just can't do it no more. Used furniture, don't throw it away. On to number two. <laughs> now, number two today is going to be old toys and old board games. Now, everybody played with old board games and old toys. I mean, especially the board games. I mean, back in the day when you could sit there across from somebody and get that feel of looking somebody in the eye while you're playing a game rather than looking at a screen like we do nowadays. There's something about that. I mean, it was so much fun. There's so many great board games that were back in the day from the Haunted House game to... You know, there's even crazy ones I like call The Dictator, which obviously nowadays wouldn't be okay. But there's so many cool ones out there, if you guys look back, that were just so much fun to play and so much fun to, you know, to see how easy a board game could take up an hour or two of your time. I mean, they're a lot of fun. And obviously, you want to have all the pieces to it. But even if you don't, if you only have, you know, the instructions or there's only a few pieces missing there's people out there that have those few pieces i guarantee to complete your set or if you have the directions and somebody else needs the directions there's money out there to be made because somebody's looking to complete their set so i mean don't throw it away because you don't think everything is there because there's always somebody else looking for the pieces you have so always check it out i mean there's people that sell just the boards from board games i've seen um there's also scrabble um they take the pieces and made them into words and they display the words like love or family or hope or whatever i mean there's some really cool things you can do with board games especially even repurposing i mean there's some really awesome things you could do now toys now we all played with toys when we were kids now me i'm an 80s kid so I played with, you know, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the G.I. Joes, the Transformers. Now, those were my kind of toys. Now, obviously, I know some people watch this video. Their toys were the tin toys, the cars, the cranes, the Tonkas, you know, all that kind of stuff, which is great, too. I'm, you know, I'm all for all of it. But some of those toys from the 80s right now are so hot. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, those first edition ones from the late 80s, super popular right now. As you'll see here, crazy good money for those things. The same as the G.I. Joes. People... This is who's getting into antiques right now. Is the late 70s, early 80s, mid 80s. That generation is starting to get into the antiques. And so what do they do? They get what they collected when they were kids. And then mom sold them at a garage sale probably. And now they have to buy them back because that's the nature of our business, right? So, I mean, that's the stuff people are going for right now. And then if you go back even farther, you got the tin toys, tin cars, tin motorcycles, uh, the robots, uh, the battery operated uh, robots. I mean, those are other ones that are really cool and again, very sought after. Now, of course, if you're a super collector and you want the boxes and stuff, those are gonna be harder to come by. Cause like me, I played with the toys. I didn't save them in the package, but those are another ones that are even worth more money if you have the box with them. So always, 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 always keep the toys and board games. Trust me, somebody will buy them. I'll buy them. Most antique stores will buy them. Very collectible. It's still lots of fun to play. I've played, I have a basement full of board games I used to have back when I was a kid. So trust me, hold on to them. If not, find someone to sell them. Please, please do not throw them away. All right, on to number one. Now, number one is kind of like a jumble of stuff because there's so many things that could go into this category, but it's housing architectural pieces. Now, I'm going to break all this down into a group of things. Old doors, old windows, hardware from the doors or drawers, um, barn wood, trim, all of this stuff is so hot right now. I mean, I've seen all of these things in a dump and it just, I, it's easy money every time. Those windows are getting repurposed and putting into like people use them as picture frames. So you have a six pane window, picture in each pane, that's perfect. Hanging on the wall, it looks amazing. The hardware, hardware gets reused all the time because how many times do you get a dresser and didn't miss in the drawer poles or you get a, you know, a door that's missing the hinges. I mean, so the hardware is something that's really sells hot right now. Um, then you look at the barn wood, barn wood people are repurposing like crazy right now. Again, really good money. And then you got the doors. People are actually using the doors because the doors were so much better made. I mean, big wooden doors or big oak wooden doors. I mean, they're just, you can't beat quality like that. 
So the old architectural pieces, the Corbels are another one. They're just amazing. They sell awesome right now. Uh, all these kind of pieces are something that we see in the dump all the time that just can't be in there. You guys, this is money, easy money for anybody that's looking to resell. It's all those things I just listed all the time sell out of here like crazy. So like I said, all those things, hold on to, find a seller. When I say hold on to them, I just mean don't throw them away. Find someone to buy them. I mean, because they're, they're, they're out there. They're easy sellers. And we see them so much in there that it's like, it's sad to see because it's just easy money that's just sitting in the dump. So that's our countdown today, guys. We had those top five things. Obviously, there's more than five, but that's just what we broke it down to at the top five. So if you guys know more, let's hear about it in the comment section below because you guys have, I mean, even if you have questions about what you should hold on to, let us know. Like I said, we're here to answer. I mean, that's why we're here all the time. We love doing this. This is, this is a blast. So um, you guys could give this video a thumbs up. Like I said, comment below. And of course, subscribe to the channel, guys. We're at 90 subscribers. That's only 10 away from 100. That's an awesome goal. So let's get to 100 subscribers. Let's pound that subscribe button. Tell our friends about it because this stuff is great information. Hopefully that you guys like that you guys can hold on to and maybe pass it along. So thank you guys so much for watching. And like always, come on out. Get your antique fix. I'm in 66. See you guys later.